I'd like to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day, especially mine. Have a great day. My favorite thing about my dad is when I'm bored, he always does stuff with me so that I'm not bored anymore. Happy Father's Day. I love you. I love my father because he spends time with me. Happy Father's Day. Father's Day. Day. Hope you have a really wonderful day and I'm sorry that we're not there to share it with you. Would be great to see you in person. We'll talk to you later. Love you, Dad. Love you. Bye. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the other fathers too. Mwah. Bye. There is a truth only you can know. Only you Father's Day, Poppy. New Hope. Love you. Hope you have a great day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. 
We love you. Love you. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Cameron and I just want to say um, happy Father's Day to my dad and I made some cards for my dad. This one says happy Father's Day daddy I love you and I, and I said my name and I got a relationship and this one is super superhero daddy. And this one says, the best daddy ever, I love you. Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I made two cards for my daddy, and this is the back of them, and this is a cat and a dog, and it says, I love you, daddy, and it has hearts over here, and yeah. And this one says the same thing but some different and it has the same thing. And this one has um me, April and Cameron and Daddy and Khaleesi and Gizmo and Reggie. I just want to say a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, especially mine and my pop. Happy Father's Day. In New Testament times, fathers held supreme authority over the family. When a baby was born into a Roman family, it would be brought out and laid before the father. If he picked the baby up, it meant the baby was accepted into the home. If he didn't pick the baby up, it meant the baby was rejected, in which case the baby would be sold, given away, or just left to die by exposure. And this was perfectly legal in those times. And uh, in the context of this type of society, uh, Paul wrote the following instructions for fathers in Ephesians 6, 4. He said, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. One way in which fathers provoke their children to anger is by their absence. 
There's been many studies uh, done that have revealed the ill effects on children who grow up without a father. Children from fatherless homes are more likely to abuse drugs and alcohol and be involved in various types of crime. They're more likely to be aggressive, depressed, have low self-esteem, have poor grades in school, more likely to be incarcerated and to commit suicide, and the list goes on. And so God instituted the concept of fatherhood for a reason, and children need their fathers. The flip side of that is that fathers sometimes provoke their children by their presence. As bad as their absence is, their presence may actually be worse, especially if they are overly harsh or even abusive, unfair, untrustworthy. None of us are perfect, of course, and but we should endeavor to provide some level of stability and security for our children. They should know that they are loved, accepted, and valued just as they are. Some parents provoke their children by saying one thing and doing another. The old saying, do as I say, not as I do, is not a very good philosophy when it comes to parenting. And we need to be as confident as the Apostle Paul when he said, uh, imitate me just as I also imitate Christ. And then also, I believe fathers provoke their children by a lack of prayer. When the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its decision to stop required prayer in public schools, an editorial cartoonist published a cartoon in the Washington Post that showed an angry father waving a newspaper at his family and shouting, What do they expect us to do? Listen to the kids pray at home? The responsibility to provide a prayer covering for our children does not rest with the public school system or with teachers or with the government, even Sunday school teachers or pastors or ministers. I believe the responsibility rests with parents, especially the fathers. If you're not a praying dad, I would suggest you become one at your earliest possible convenience because your children need a prayer covering. Paul said instead of provoking your children, bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. And so I, I could ask you a question, are you able to train your children how to pray? Do you provide encouragement to them by your example of a consistent prayer life? You might think it's too late because your kids are they're all grown up and gone. But if you're still alive, your kids are still alive, it's not too late. You can start now and be a godly example to your children and grandchildren. Become a person of prayer. If there was ever a day when children need a protective prayer covering, it is today. They need praying dads. It's wonderful to have a praying mom, but I believe our children need praying dads. I almost feel like begging the fathers become a person of prayer. And with that in mind, let's pray today. Father, right now I pray for fathers that they would come to know you as their Father and your Son Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and that they would become a people of prayer and that they would show their children the example of a praying dad and of the importance of having a relationship with you. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today, and happy Father's Day. Always love, so
our good, good Father. And you are the example to all the fathers in our world today. The love, the, un the love that's unconditional for your children. And Father, I pray for every father that hears uh, my voice today. The Father, that they would lean on you for their strength, for wisdom, for understanding, for guidance. Father, that they would be examples, godly examples for their children to live for you, Lord. What a high calling today to train children in the ways of God. So, Father, we pray a blessing upon every father today. And we ask that you would strengthen them. And, Father, give them, Lord, what they need today to lead and guide. Your love, Lord, Father, to you all, to you all.